What's up, my name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I've got a solution to an incredibly annoying and incredibly unnecessary issue that you may be experiencing. Basically, I have two copies of the game, one that I bought on Rockstar and one that I got for free on the Epic Games Store. Hence, I have two Rockstar accounts, one of which is linked to the Epic Games Store. I downloaded the game through the Epic Games Store and expected to be able to sign in with my purely Rockstar account. However, when I switch to my Rockstar account in the launcher that isn't linked to Epic Games, the only button I have is Play on Epic Games. This is incredibly annoying, as switching the account will do nothing. If I click the Play button, it'll say, hey, you're on the wrong account, you should switch or cancel a launch, not allowing me to access my original save on my original Rockstar-only account that isn't linked to Steam or Epic Games. Now, I'm re-recording this intro, but after this video, the same exact issue happens with the Steam version if you're trying to log in with a pure Rockstar account. That's what this video is going to show you how to fix. It's incredibly annoying, and when you hear what you have to do, you may be equally as annoyed if you bought it previously and then tried to get it on the Epic Games Store. All that you have to do is navigate across to where you have GTA 5 installed. I had it installed in the Epic Games directory. Yes, the version of the game I'm showing you now is in the Steam directory, as I moved it across to Steam and verified the files to get the different files here. All that you need to do to get this to work is simply move the game out of the Epic Games or Steam directory, uninstall it after moving it out so you don't lose any of the files so that it's no longer registered with Steam or Epic Games, then simply open up gtavlauncher.exe. It's a tiny file that isn't included on the Epic Games Launcher version of the game. It's only included on the Steam version, which is incredibly aggravating. Now, I'm not too sure if you could simply run this while it's in the same directory. Whenever I ran this in the same directory and it was installed on Steam or the Epic Games Store, I still only had the option to launch it through Steam or the Epic Games Store, regardless of what account I was logged in with. But some people have said that simply running this program instead, logging into the correct account, gives them the option to play the game as they usually would. However, the Epic Games Store version of this game doesn't include this launcher and hence causes a lot of issues. I wasn't able to get it working in any other means than moving it to Steam, verifying the file so I could download this on a friend's account. Then after I have this 200 kilobyte tiny file, I moved it out of my Steam directory, uninstalled it from Steam so that it no longer showed up, and then I was able to start the GTA 5 launcher.exe, sign in with the correct account, and there we go, I had an install button. After quote unquote installing, it was simply just verifying the files, the game worked as expected super annoying and such a long way around such a simple issue just because this file wasn't included on the Epic Games Store version. I'm not too sure if you could do this properly on the Steam version, but that's at least the gymnastics that I had to go through to actually access my old online save, which was incredibly annoying to say the least. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.